America's ground zero. Right now, even though most people don't realize it, the trailing edge of a historic financial hurricane is about to make landfall. And just like Hurricane Katrina devastated thousands of families, this financial storm could damage a big part of your life savings this year. But this isn't a currency collapse or stock market crash. It's a vastly bigger threat, with the broad potential to strike 401ks, IRAs, pensions, and the social security system in a more severe way than 2008. And it won't just impact millions of Americans' financial future. As you'll see, it could alter the fabric of our society forever. Meanwhile, Fox, CNN, and everyone else in the mainstream media are distracted by the presidential race. That's why, in just a moment, New York Times bestselling author and multimillionaire investor Doug Casey and an executive member of his team will join us. They'll shine a light on exactly how this financial hurricane may play out in the near future and give you the full story behind a unique money-making situation, which you won't hear anywhere in the news. In short, this financial shock could spark a massive wealth shift and create a whole new class of post-crisis millionaires, not on Wall Street or Capitol Hill, instead from everyday folks on Main Street. Now, this may all sound like a bold prediction, but ask yourself, despite stock market highs, does the economy really feel okay? Look at the facts. Recently, four states from West Virginia to Wyoming sunk into recession. Three more are dangerously close. Iconic American businesses like Walmart and The Gap have shut down hundreds of stores. In the months ahead, 6,000 more locations will shutter their doors. And all over the world, financial markets have been crashing. And now, if Doug's latest forecast is as accurate as his past calls, what's coming next could change everything. Unprepared investors, especially those at or near retirement, could be facing an absolute nightmare as the trolling edge sweeps through America in every corner of the global economy in late 2016, 17, and beyond. Yet, for those who see the writing on the wall now, it presents a rare fortune-building opportunity, a chance to make thousands, possibly tens of thousands, every month this crisis transpires. Bottom line, we're here today to delve into a powerful investing approach, which is a complete secret to 95% of Americans, an entirely new way of making real money in a crisis. During the Great Depression, legendary investor Sir John Templeton used this approach to triple his money. Warren Buffett made an estimated $10 billion with it in the wake of 2008. Plus, dozens of the world's smartest financial minds have put the strategy to work. And for the past four decades, Doug Casey's personally used it to flip asset crashes and financial turmoil into fortunes. For example, back in August 1976, gold crashed 49% from its high two years earlier. Ordinary gold investors ate their losses and ran. But that's when Doug zeroed in on a tiny sector of the gold market and flipped that 49% loss to see 600% gains just years later. No options were used, no stocks were shorted. Incredibly, only one decisive move was made with this approach. Or consider the 80s and Black Monday, where the Dow nosedived 24%, the largest one-day stock market crash in U.S. history. Again for Doug, this chaotic decade was just another windfall opportunity. He zeroed in on an overlooked market, and in a single move, flipped $15,000 into $275,000, a 1,700% gain. The 90s and 2000s, same story. Frankly, these are rare and exceptional gains most people can only dream of. And they're even more remarkable because they resulted from actions taken after a crisis. Most investors are paralyzed by losses and fear. That's why over the years, Doug's success with this lucrative, out-of-the-ordinary approach has generated a lot of buzz. Everyone from Charlie Rose, Phil Donahue, Regis Philbin, CNN, and NBC News has interviewed him about past accomplishments. And many wondered, do you need to be a millionaire like Doug, an expert investor, or travel thousands of miles around the world to use this investing secret? Well, while that may have been true in the past, today that's about to change. Today, for the first time, Doug and his team will pull back the current on a true breakthrough, a step-by-step -step way for you to potentially make thousands with this method, in as little as 30 minutes a week, right from your home computer. And while nothing in investing is guaranteed or without risk, I can promise you this. In Casey Research's entire history, what you're about to see is the only proven way we've discovered to take market extremes and potentially build an entire nest egg in one decisive move. Before we go further, keep this in mind. No matter what the government does to try and stimulate the economy in the days ahead, this giant financial hurricane cannot be stopped. The past decade taught smart investors anything is that major financial panics, once they're set in motion, are inevitable. But this time, what's coming doesn't have to blindside you and your family. In fact, as I said before, you're about to see proof this financial hurricane's trolling edge could crush Washington and Wall Street while it creates a whole new class of everyday millionaires. And today, 
you have the opportunity to join them, regardless of your level of wealth. You just have to be willing to do what most people won't. Have the conviction to act in the face of this severe financial crisis. And just so we're perfectly clear, you don't have to buy anything from us to capitalize on this incredible opportunity. The only thing required is the computer you're watching this on and the simple instructions for using Doug's crisis investing secret, which we'll give you right now. Here's Doug coming to you from his compound in Argentina. A giant financial hurricane is about to hit America and your wealth may be in the path of the destruction. However, I'm not here to urge you to prepare. I've done that again and again at conferences from Miami to Vancouver and in recent issues of my newsletter and in numerous interviews. I've also devoted a great deal of time to explain in detail how I have used hard assets and political diversification to insulate my wealth personally. Will you do the same? I hope so. But what I'd like to share with you today is the other side of the story, something I believe that could be very lucrative if played in the right way. In short, the oncoming Class 5 financial hurricane isn't just going to be the most financially desperate time in modern history, including the Great Depression of 1929 to 1946. It's also going to result in a very large transfer of wealth. The reason for that is clear-cut. We entered the hurricane in 2007. Since 2010, we've been in the eye of the storm. But now we're going into its trailing edge, and it's going to be much rougher, much longer lasting and much different than what happened in 2008 and 2009. As the trailing edge of this financial hurricane sweeps the U.S., chaos is going to spread through every corner of the global economy. Stock prices, currencies, commodities, they're all going to thrash up and down. Tens of thousands of businesses are going to go bankrupt. Yet, in a crisis, valuable assets, the real estate, the gold mines, the farmland, the oil deposits, the technologies, these things aren't destroyed. Instead, their ownership simply changes hands, and it often happens abruptly and for pennies on the dollar. That's the key to the fortune-building opportunity in front of us today. I'll let my executive editor and the rest of our team go into more details about this point shortly. Just know that while nothing in the investment world is guaranteed, we believe that if you have the conviction to act now, you will be handed a rare and extraordinary chance to increase your wealth by many multiples. In this case, with a single move, my team will show you how to execute. First, you must understand, this is not a vague prediction. I've seen the exact same event play out on a smaller scale dozens of times in my career. And in fact, even though most people don't realize it, this transfer of wealth is now accelerating right now in the heartland of America. I'll let Dan show you. Hi, Dan Steinhardt here. Pay close attention to this map. To the naked eye, the financial hurricane Doug's alerted you to is invisible. Yet, if you know where to look, you can see proof the trailing edge and the immediate wealth building opportunity it's created are clear as day. I'll show you. This is Williston, North Dakota, the face of politicians' so-called recovery. If you'd gone here in 2013, you'd have seen an economic boom that bordered on insanity. Salaries for workers with no experience exceeded $100,000 per year. McDonald's employees made $20 an hour. The average rent for one-bedroom apartments outpaced New York City prices, and investors were willing to pay $200,000 for an acre of land that was previously worth $500. But suddenly, that's all changed. The New York Times reports once-packed neighborhoods are now ghost towns. Experts estimate nearly half the town's population could be laid off within months. What's more, Williston isn't alone. In early 2016, the same kind of economic crisis was simultaneously seen in a handful of places across the U.S. What happened? Look closer. First, Williston is an oil boomtown. As you may know, thanks to new drilling technology, fracking, and sky-high oil prices, Places with huge oil reserves like North Dakota and Texas saw their economies boom from 2006 to 2014. But then, in less than two years, oil prices fell 75%. It was the fastest and steepest fall in the modern history of crude oil. Media pundits certainly didn't realize it at the time, but this sudden crash was a clear warning. The trailing edge of the hurricane Doug mentioned was about to sweep through the oil industry and unsuspecting towns like Williston. Just look at the chaos that followed next. Layoffs skyrocketed. Last year, 258,000 jobs were slashed. Oil stocks cratered. One of the biggest shale gas producers in the U.S., 
Chesapeake Energy Corp. fell 50% in a single day, and bankruptcies piled up. In 2015, 42 energy companies went bust. Now, 175 companies, one-third of the oil and gas industry, are at high risk of bankruptcy this year. Now, on the surface, all of this destruction seems bad, and it is for the people directly caught up in it. But what most people don't realize is that none of this wealth has disappeared. It simply changes hands, and new opportunities arise. In the case of Williston, take for example Quicksilver Energy. They earn $1.2 billion of some of the most valuable oil and gas assets in America. When oil crashed, they eventually went bankrupt. But their assets didn't disappear. Another company, Bluestone Natural Resources, bought them for a steal at just $245 million. American Energy had a similar story. They went bankrupt, but their assets didn't disappear. $222 million of American Energy's assets were sold off for $45 million. BPZ Resources? Same deal. Their assets recently sold for just $8.5 million, a small fraction of the $364 million they're worth. In short, a billion-dollar wealth shift is now quietly taking place. For the brave few, the investors scooping up these assets on the cheap, a windfall could be on the horizon once the trailing edge passes and oil recovers. Billions of dollars have shifted into their pockets, and they paid pennies on the dollar for it. Now, I'm not recommending you rush and scoop up blue-chip oil stocks. As you'll see, there's a much more lucrative way to play this situation from home, using a single move that's consistently made Doug Casey a fortune. But frankly, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Look back to the map you saw earlier, and tell me, does everything seem okay in the world economy? Brazil, Latin America's biggest economy, is in the worst recession in a century. In Canada, inflation ignited after their currency, the loonie, crashed 25%. Now, prices for basic groceries are running wild. A single cucumber goes for $3, eggs for $8, you'll pay $15 for frosted flakes, and upward of 17 bucks for a gallon of milk. From Europe to Japan, negative interest rates are spreading like cancer after hundreds of billions worth of quantitative easing failed to jolt their economies back to life, and it's shaking their financial systems to the core. For instance, earlier this year, Europe's biggest bank stocks were dumped faster than the start of the 2008 financial panic. Deutsche Bank alone crashed 38%. Japan fares no better, and their citizens know it. The Wall Street Journal reports a huge wave of Japanese are now hoarding cash. And not far away, China's economy has come to a screeching halt, setting off a chain of events reminiscent of the Great Depression. I'm talking about multiple stock market shutdowns, a major currency devaluation, and millions of layoffs. You don't need a PhD to realize all of this chaos, all taking place at once, is not the hallmark of a healthy global economy. Think back to what Doug told you earlier. As the trailing edge of this massive financial hurricane escalates, stocks, currencies, and commodities will thrash up and down, thousands of businesses will go bankrupt, and a massive shift of wealth will be set in motion. And that leads to only one conclusion. The trailing edge of the hurricane has grown into a truly global crisis. A wealth shift isn't just taking place here in America, it's happening across the world. And truth be told, Doug's not the only one who sees it. Recently, the Bank of International Settlements, known as the Central Bank's Central Bank, released a 15-page report on the global financial volatility we've seen this year and admitted, We may not be seeing isolated bolts from the blue, but the signs of a gathering storm that has been building for a long time. Even Lord Rothschild, a member of one of the wealthiest and most connected families in the world, warned that we're well into the eye of the storm and the problems ahead are daunting. But here's the thing. Even though you can see it's blatantly obvious that the trailing edge is wreaking havoc in the global economy as we speak, that's not the biggest threat to you, your money, and your family. Here's what is. You see, the trailing edge will back the U.S. government into a corner. And as Doug's explained hundreds of times, when a broke government is faced with a threat to its survival, it will do anything it can to survive. What's more, if you study history, you also know that, in the past, Major financial shocks sparked riots and even widespread rebellion. A country's entire way of life can change almost overnight. Just look at 2008. It led to the Occupy Wall Street protests, and it stoked a deep anger towards Washington, D.C. and Wall Street, which is now fueling the rise of controversial presidential candidates. 
So what's coming next in 2016 and beyond? Doug believes oil demand could continue to drop, greatly intensifying the problems on the production side, which means bankruptcies will continue to mount. He also says he'll be surprised if currency controls aren't instituted within two years, making it nearly impossible to move your money outside the U.S. And the social unrest we've recently seen in Ferguson, Missouri, and Baltimore could just be the start. Point is, these are uncertain times. But again, one thing is set in stone. With every severe crisis comes immense opportunity. You see, as we've shown you in this video, wealth doesn't disappear during a financial catastrophe. It simply changes hands and gets rerouted, in a sense. We'll show you a few more examples of this in just a moment. If you know where and how to situate yourself, you can increase your wealth by many multiples in a relatively short period of time. Which brings me to Doug's crisis investing secret. If you're a seasoned and open-minded investor, let me show it to you right now. Let's dive right in. In market extremes, like what we saw in 2008, this strategy should enable you to, in the short term, two years or less, hand you a stream of opportunities that can potentially multiply your money 10 times over while most people have been wiped out. Over time, potentially turn a small stake into hundreds of thousands of dollars. Doug has used starting amounts as little as $1,875. And all it takes is a single decisive move you can make from home, a move that doesn't require you to touch options or short stocks. Of course, nothing in the market is guaranteed. And more to the point, Folks on Wall Street would tell you this kind of performance is impossible. But quite simply, what this powerful approach does is flip Wall Street's cardinal rules of investing on their head. See for yourself. Flash back to the 80s, from a multi-year recession, to the savings and loan crisis, to Black Monday, the 80s were no stranger to financial chaos. At one point, the US stock market dropped 24% in a day, but during this decade, Doug flipped the chaos into a 1,614% gain over time. He didn't short stocks, and he didn't use options. Instead, Doug zeroed in on a market in an economic storm, Hong Kong, and, with a single move, captured hundreds of thousands in profits. No doubt, an exceptional gain. And I'll emphasize, at the time, experts would tell you Doug was crazy, that he was taking on too much risk. In fact, Thousands of people were literally fleeing and shifting their wealth away from here. But like I said, when you have the courage to use this approach, Wall Street's rules no longer shackle you. And in fact, this one move eventually turned Doug's $80,000 stake into $1.2 million. But frankly, I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of the profit potential. Fast forward to the 90s and watch closely. Back then, we saw a recession, the Gulf War, the Asian financial crisis, and in the process, this havoc helped send a subsector of Doug's favorite market, natural resources, plunging 75%. Shortly after, he wrote in his international speculator issue, a historic opportunity has been developing. It may be the most compelling single opportunity in the resource field now. This is a panic bottom. Look what happened next. One play he highlighted could have flipped this devastated market into a 1,333% gain in just a matter of years. Had you gotten his message, zeroed in this time on a small company in Australia, you could have turned $10,000 into $300,000 in a single move. That's more money than most people have in their nest egg after a lifetime of saving. But again, hindsight is 2020. At the time, there had been an exodus away from this resource sector, a decade-long shift of wealth. Investors, especially Wall Street, were scared to touch it with a 10-foot pole. To capitalize on this opportunity, you needed to be 100% willing to go against everything the authorities on Wall Street told you. For Doug, it was a no-brainer to fly in their face. Are you willing to do the same? If so, let me pull back the curtain and show you the secret for profiting with this approach in one decisive move. At its core, the secret powering this approach, what we call crisis investing, is simple. Imagine, if you will, a satellite orbiting around the Earth. Inside it is technology so powerful you can circle the entire planet in 90 minutes, and cameras that zoom in so far you can see your house. If you man this satellite, you'd see things most people never see, and the same holds true with crisis investing. With this approach, you not only get the big picture view of financial storms around the globe, it also allows you to zero in on rare profit opportunities most people never know exist. For example, 
take one of the biggest home runs of Doug's career. Back in 93, Doug put a $1,875 stake into a small resource play operating in Canada. Two and a half years later, he sold it for $1.2 million, a 64,000% return. At a glance, this looks like nothing more than a high-risk speculative play with once-in-a-lifetime gains that, frankly, would be impossible to repeat. But dig deeper. Ask yourself, why'd he even make the move in the first place? See, during this time, resources had fallen through the floor. Many of their prices dropped to Great Depression levels. More than a few crashed 50%. And that's the key. Because, while institutions and -and mom-and-pop investors fled in droves, shifting millions away from resources, Doug's crisis investing approach allowed him to see a whole different ballgame. In short, just like a satellite, Doug targeted a sector after he saw it was in a financial storm, a price crash which led to a major shift of wealth. From there, Doug zeroed in and found not just one, but a handful of overlooked moves with high upside. In fact, he wrote candidly to subscribers in January of 93 about these moves, saying, 10 to 1 shots aren't unusual, and 100 to 1 shots happen. Incredibly, that was an understatement. When the dust settled, his money multiplied over 500 to 1, thanks to the resource crisis he homed in on and the tiny Canadian company's extraordinary rise. Again, I'll pound the table. This is a rare, once-in-a-lifetime example. But think, Wall Street's rules say you need a lifetime to build a seven-figure nest egg. That you need to buy and hold? and you need to be subjected to their high fees. Yet, with a single crisis investing move, $1,875 turned into $1.2 million in just two and a half years. And here's the thing. Doug's done this dozens of times during his 40 plus year career as a speculator and investor on crisis opportunities all over the world. Like the anomaly he zeroed in on in the Caribbean, one move flipped $15,000 into $275,000 a 1,733% gain. And the once-in-a-lifetime play in South Africa, which could have flipped every $4,000 you invested into over half a million dollars, also in a single move. In every case, it all came down to the same simple process. Like a satellite, you track the storm, the panic, the crash, the major shift of wealth taking place, then you zero in on it and find opportunities no one else can see. Often, you'll be rewarded with a play that could make you more money in a single bold move than most people dream is possible. Now, that's not to say Doug hasn't had his fair share of losses, but even if this strategy performs half as well as it did for Doug, those gains would still be more than enough to change your life. The fact is, this approach has allowed Doug to build a fortune that spans three continents and not work a 9-to-5 job since the 70s, which brings up an important point. If this type of investing is so lucrative, why doesn't everyone use it? Think back to the dot-com bust in 2000 and 2001. The market crashed 78%. The portfolios of many investors wiped out in a matter of months. Yet, shortly after the crash, Doug Casey and our team zeroed in on a market outside the tech meltdown. Then, with one crisis move, ultimately flipped the crash into well over a 4,000% gain. Or consider the 2008 financial crisis. As you know, it sent the market nosediving 57%. But had you zeroed in on a handful of plays in the wake of the crash, the returns were not only astronomical, they came quick. Look at this list. Lazy Boy, up 1,016%. Genworth, up 993%. ION Geophysical, up 1,098%. Anyone who made a single crisis move and invested in one of these companies in 2009 made almost 10 times his money in two years or less. The profit potential here is undeniable, yet I'd bet 9 out of 10 investors never captured these gains. Why? You see, there's a simple flaw in human psychological makeup, what some call action bias. Here's what Greg Davies, head of behavioral finance at Barclays Wealth, says. To put it simply, our brains tell us to do absolutely nothing after we protect ourselves from big losses. The threat of more pain paralyzes us. So we're hardwired to run away from approaches like crisis investing, even though they're proven to be the most lucrative. However, 
that may not even be the biggest hurdle. Consider all the crisis moves I showed you here today. From the 1,614% move in Hong Kong, where Doug's $80,000 stake flipped into $1.2 million, to the 1,333% move in Australia, where you could have potentially flipped every $10,000 you invested into $100,000, even one of the biggest hits of Doug Casey's career, the 64,000% move in Canada, where $1,875 flipped into $1.2 million. In each instance, every single one, he spent months, sometimes years, uncovering the move he made. It required traveling thousands of miles to do boots on the ground research, and it required years of building a network of hedge fund managers, top government officials, and billionaires. Combine this with the first hurdle of action bias, and it's no wonder taking advantage of this approach is impossible for most. That is, until now. For the past three years, my firm has undertaken a bold venture, a project designed to make the explosive gains of crisis investing available to everyone, no matter what their current level of wealth. After over $1 million in estimated company resources, nearly 10,000 man hours, and over 50,000 miles traveled in search of the world's best crisis opportunities, plus bringing on a world-class crisis investor, I believe we've accomplished that goal. We call the culmination of our work simply crisis investing. It's a research service that puts at your fingertips the most lucrative crisis opportunities across the world, and it shows you how to take advantage of them in a single move right from your computer. Nothing like this exists anywhere else. It's exclusive to Casey Research. So what types of opportunities are we targeting today? Well, because the trailing edge of this historic financial hurricane is accelerating as we speak, we're seeing market extremes we haven't seen in decades. And as a result, we're seeing potential crisis opportunities we haven't seen in decades either. Many right here in America. Let me show you two opportunities crisis investing senior analyst Nick Giambruno has zeroed in on. Look here. This chart shows us how, right now, we have a second chance at one of the biggest windfalls of Doug's career. See, in the 70s, a 49% price crash in gold took place. Shortly after, Doug made a move that flipped the crash and gave him a chance to capture 600% gains. And today, after another 40% plus price drop, Nick and Doug believe we stand at the precipice of a massive gold bull run. Why? Because as you saw today, headwinds from the hurricane's trailing edge have forced central banks around the world to do something unprecedented. They have dropped interest rates below zero for the first time in monetary history. This destructive policy has suddenly forced institutions and investors to take radical actions, especially in Japan and Europe. They have gone to cash, they have dumped billions worth of shares in some of the world's largest banks, and now they're escaping into gold, the last true safe haven. In fact, in the month of February alone, an estimated $7.8 billion poured into gold ETFs. Incredibly, that breaks the record set in 2009 when people ran to gold for shelter from the last financial crisis. And considering Janet Yellen's recent speech about negative interest rates becoming a reality here in America, there's no doubt. We could soon find ourselves in the middle of a 21st century gold rush. The smart money knows it too. Take John Paulson, for example. In 2007, he made a reported $4 billion by betting against the housing market with a single trade. Today, he's funneled $900 million into gold. Or consider Stanley Drunkenmiller. He's legendary for generating 30% average annual returns for 24 consecutive years. He recently moved $300 million of his fortune into gold. That's why, over the past several months, Nick traveled 14,000 miles around the world with Doug Casey. He's been conducting boots-on-the-ground research to home in on the most lucrative crisis plays in the resource market. And recently, he discovered a single crisis investing move you can make today right from home, which could let you flip gold's inevitable rise into a small fortune. It's a multi-billion dollar company that operates some of the richest gold deposits in South Africa, Australia, and Peru. Under its control is the second largest gold mine in the world. We're talking more than 80 million ounces of known gold reserves. But that's not what makes the profit potential here so high. This is. What you're looking at is a four-year chart of this company's stock value. Like I mentioned, during this time frame, the price of gold collapsed, and you can guess what happened next. A major wealth shift out of gold took place, 
Wall Street liquidated their positions. Small investors did the same out of fear the price would drop more. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, this company is still one of the few miners producing profits and cash flow. It still operates the world's second largest mine, producing hundreds of thousands of ounces of gold a year. And you now have a remarkable opportunity to become an owner of this company and its world-class assets for about 20 cents on the dollar. So how much exactly do you stand to make? Well, in 2001, a similar setup occurred in gold. Some stock prices collapsed around 83%, just like today. Yet, if you made a handful of the best crisis moves in the years that followed, you could have flipped the crash into 2,000% gains or more. That's enough to turn every $10,000 into $200,000, almost twice as big as the average nest egg in America. Now, I can't promise you'll make that much. However, just this year, we've seen gold stocks on a tear, like Anglo Ashanti Gold. It's leaped 100%. Or Barrick Gold, which also doubled in a matter of months. The company Nick's targeting has jumped in recent weeks too. At one point, it shot up 57%. Fortunately, it's still cheap, with a vast upside. But mark my words, as the chaos of the hurricane's trailing edge sweeps through America, and investors inevitably pour hundreds of millions into safe havens like gold, this company won't be a bargain for much longer. In short, if you don't want to miss out, the time to act is now. That's why Nix put all the details on this company in an urgent briefing. It's called The Trailing Edge 2016, Two Bold Moves That Could Flip Crisis Into a Fortune. Inside, you'll find all the specifics on this investment, including a full breakdown of its gold operation and how you can flip gold's four-year drop into a potential 1,000% gain right from home. I'll show exactly how to grab your own copy of this briefing in a moment. Right now, let me show you the second crisis investing move Nick's targeting. Look at this map. I want you to keep the highlighted areas in mind. They may be your key to profiting from one of the largest wealth shifts in America's history. As you saw earlier, the oil industry, the companies, and the local economies that support it were recently devastated by headwinds from the financial hurricane's trailing edge. In a span of 18 months, the price of oil collapsed 75%. Over 200,000 layoffs followed. Dozens of booming businesses went bankrupt, seemingly overnight. And a massive wealth shift kicked into high gear. Naturally, Nick set out to investigate the situation firsthand, to zero in on the one crisis investing move that would flip this chaos into a fortune. When he did, he found something unexpected, an anomaly. Operating in three of the richest shale deposits, the Bakken, the Eagle Ford, and the Permian Basins, was a company thriving in the crisis. There were no headlines of widespread layoffs. It wasn't crippled under debt, meaning it didn't take billions from Wall Street to fund costly drilling projects. In fact, in some cases, it was turning a profit producing oil at $35 a barrel. And it gets even better, because... While nothing changed about this business, its stock price was another story. See, as the price of oil collapsed, oil stocks followed, and this company fell 47% from its high. To most investors only looking on the surface, this is a sign to run for the hills. Let them, because for us, it means we've just been handed an opportunity to stake into this company for 50 cents on the dollar. And in the process, get a rare shot to own some of the richest oil assets in America, not just in one of the big deposits, but three. Now, here's the thing. Just like gold, this move has a short window of opportunity. Crisis opportunities like this simply don't stay hidden for long. In fact, even with the price of oil thrashing up and down in recent weeks, this company's shares have climbed 26%. Remember what I told you earlier. Because of the trailing edge of the financial hurricane, the majority of the energy industry is getting massacred right now. But for the brave few, the investors scooping up assets on the cheap, a windfall could be on the horizon. Frankly, major shifts of wealth like this don't happen often, especially when it comes to the most valuable energy resources in America. And the handful of times they have, they've created immense wealth. Just look at the renowned billionaire J. Paul Getty. He amassed a fortune equal to $160 billion in today's dollars. Few realized that fortune was built on the distressed oil assets and companies he scooped up during the Great Depression. What's more, in 2006 to 2012, during the last oil upswing, oil helped create an estimated 2,000 new millionaires every year. 
If you missed out then, this could be your second chance. Don't let action bias trick you into not acting on this historic opportunity. But again, if you want a shot at flipping this oil crash into a windfall, you must have the courage to act now. That's why, in Nick's urgent crisis investing briefing, he also gives you a rundown of the entire situation developing in oil. He details the need-to-know facts on this company, why it's such an anomaly in today's energy environment, and reveals exactly how, in one crisis investing move, you can become a part owner of its money-making assets and position yourself for a big payday in the months ahead. So how can you get your hands on a copy? The answer might surprise you. Today, we're breaking new ground here at Casey Research. Because the financial hurricane's trailing edge is fast approaching, we'd like to jumpstart the financial success of a new class of post-crisis millionaires. And we're not going to spare another second. Today, we're inviting folks to join our boldest venture to date, our premier research service, Crisis Investing. And for a very limited time, if you step forward and accept this invitation, you'll receive Nick's urgent money-making briefing free of charge. Now, in a moment, I'll explain all the details, including why this offer is expiring soon. First, I need to be clear. Crisis investing is not right for everyone. That's why I'm going to walk you through the single most important trait every good crisis investor shares. I believe everyone who accepts the invitation must have it. There's no doubt crisis investing's profit potential is extraordinary. Today, you saw how it gave Doug Casey the chance to consistently flip financial turmoil over the past four decades into a multi-million dollar fortune. And you saw how, in the history of Casey Research, it's one of the only proven ways we've discovered to potentially build an entire nest egg in one decisive move. However, let me be clear. This crisis investing strategy is best for the bold. Please understand, there is risk. More importantly, Every time you use it, you'll have to temporarily break out of your comfort zone. Take, for example, the recent financial crisis in Cyprus. As you probably know, in 2013, we saw the unthinkable happen in this European country, a bail-in. Two of Cyprus's largest banks, after being crushed by their country's sovereign debt crisis, rated up to 100% of customers' deposits to stay afloat. Panic spread like wildfire. Cyprus's stock market crashed 98%. But that's when Doug Casey and Nick Giambruno went to work. Nick caught a flight to Cyprus from New York. Doug joined him, making the 6,000-mile journey from Vancouver. Shortly after they touched down, they were in a private meeting with the CEO of Cyprus's stock exchange. And they visited the headquarters of the most well-run businesses in the country. The result? They zeroed in on seven crisis moves and flipped that 98% crash into four high double-digit gains, a shot to more than double your money, and a triple. Better yet, just one of those moves turned out to be a small loss. What's more, folks who followed Nick's recommendations didn't even have to leave home to uncover these opportunities. We sent them directly to their computer. Now, here's the point. Looking back, this play sounds like a no-brainer. And today, it's become public knowledge billionaires like Wilbur Ross and Daniel Loeb scooped up trophy assets in Cyprus the same time Doug and Nick were there investigating crisis moves. Yet, at the time, average investors wouldn't touch Cyprus with a 10-foot pole. Once again, action bias stopped them from profiting. And if you can't step outside of your comfort zone and beat action bias, I'm sorry to say you'll never be able to capture any of the crisis investing's lucrative gains. However, if you can, then I have good news. Doug and Nick will take the rest from there. Here's what I mean. At Casey Research, we developed our crisis investing research service in a way that anyone can use the service and immediately be able to invest like a professional crisis investor. How? Because when you lift up the hood on this exciting venture, you'll find the exact same process Doug used to become one of the world's most renowned and successful crisis investors. We monitor the world's financial storms 24-7 for you. Nick's created something special for crisis investing. It's a proprietary tool that leverages his experience as a professional financial analyst and time working for the sell-side equity research team of America's biggest and most valuable bank. We call it simply the Value Radar. This tool automatically funnels in key data points from every industry in every major country around the world. And every day, it acts like the satellite I mentioned earlier. It lets him see way in advance where financial storms are developing, point blank. 
the value radar makes certain a lucrative crisis opportunity never slips through his fingers. And by the way, this tool isn't for sale. It's only in the hands of Nick, a professional financial analyst, that this supercharged investing satellite becomes usable. And crisis investing members are the only ones who get to benefit from it. Next, once we find a storm, we zero in for you on a single bold move. This is where the heavy lifting happens. Between Doug and Nick, they travel tens of thousands of miles a year. Frankly, this is the only way to zero in on the crisis moves with the greatest windfall potential. It's also where the network Doug's built over the past four decades comes into play. A quick example. Recently, Nick traveled to South Africa with Doug. No sooner than they touched down, they were already meeting with high-level government representatives. See, for decades, connections like these allowed Doug to move around the world with ease, uncovering opportunities no one else had the chance to see, and they're a crucial part of the simple, two-step process Nick follows to the T today in crisis investing. Bottom line, our money-making method is straightforward and proven over the course of decades, and the end result is you don't have to do any heavy lifting. Crisis investing streamlines everything, so outside of having the conviction to act, you only have to do one thing to potentially capture windfall after windfall. Take an estimated 30 minutes a month and execute a simple set of instructions on your computer. Your instructions come in Nick's monthly crisis briefings. These briefings are written in plain, easy-to-read English, and each includes a hard-hitting write-up on what financial storm Nick is targeting and why. As you've seen, one month it could be about the devastating oil collapse. Another, it'll cover negative interest rates igniting panic in the global financial system. The single move Nick's zeroing in on to flip this chaos into a small fortune, possibly an entire nest egg. Easy to follow instructions for making this move, right from your home computer, and crucial updates when it's time to exit. One thing to keep in mind is, financial crises take years, even decades, to play out. And the moves Nick will show you in these crisis briefings can take anywhere from months to years to play out too. Back in 2008 and 2009, for example, the financial crisis sent the Dow nosediving 50%. During that time, Doug Casey and our team zeroed in on two crisis moves involving gold miners. One move into redback mining flipped the crash into a 151% gain in exactly 12 months. Another move into a Cisco mining turned into a 260% winner in 17 months. But look at 2001. For another crisis move we made into a gold miner in the dot-com bubble's aftermath, it took a full six years to capture a 4,329% windfall. The important point here is though the time span for every crisis move varies, the window of opportunity to take action is short. You simply must be ready to act decisively, to not succumb to action bias, if you want to make real money with this approach. That's why Nick watches the recommendations for you, monitoring every crucial update about companies in our portfolio, and giving you ongoing intel, even telling you when it's time to take profits. Again, we're not employing any risky trading strategy here. To take advantage of crisis investing, you're not required to trade options, short stocks, implement risky trading, get special clearance from your broker, or even risk a lot of your net worth in a single crisis move. We're simply following in Doug Casey's footsteps, following the same strategy he did. We're staking a claim in world-class businesses beaten down in a tidal wave of crisis. Yes, it's a bold approach, but it's helped him build a fortune that will last several lifetimes. And we've seen proof here at Casey Research that learning this strategy can be life-changing no matter what walk of life you come from. But again, I have to pound the table. This is not right for everyone. Yet, if it is a good fit, then overnight, a whole new way of making money could be unlocked for you. In fact, you could stand to make thousands of dollars month after month while unprepared investors are getting wiped out in the hurricane's trailing edge. After today, you've seen compelling proof that, as we speak, the trailing edge of this historic financial hurricane is accelerating. Of course, no one has a crystal ball. But when it finally strikes, perhaps as soon as this year, Doug believes it will usher in a crisis much more severe and much longer lasting than what we saw in 2008. And you also know that while Doug believes ground zero for this crisis is America, chaos will unfold across the global economy. Frankly, 
It's obvious. The unprepared will be devastated. But for crisis investors, this catastrophic event could create a slew of once-in-a-decade profit opportunities. Now, after seeing this approach flip the worst financial chaos into windfalls throughout the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, and today, it shouldn't come as any surprise that a membership to crisis investing is not cheap. In fact, at the typical price, a one-year membership to crisis investing will cost you $2,500. However, Doug and I believe as long as you're serious about learning how to put this bold crisis investing approach to work, you should have a chance to benefit from it, no matter your current level of wealth. So, for the first time in Casey Research history, we're making a very special offer. Here's the deal. If you grab one of the spots available today to our premier research service, Crisis Investing, we're going to pay for a significant portion of your membership. In short, on our end, we're putting down $1,000 toward your first year membership fee, essentially giving you a 40% discount. That means all that's left to cover on your end is $1,500. That works out to only $4.10 a day, the price of a Starbucks drink. We're wagering that by paying for $1,000 of your crisis investing membership, you'll not only see how confident we are in our research, we're making sure investors ready to take crisis investing seriously have the best shot they're ever going to get. Until Sunday, May 22nd, we're going to sweeten the deal. We're going to give you another year of crisis investing for free. That means you get two years for less than the price of one. I'd say it's more than a fair deal especially considering this is one of the only services that could help you build an entire nest egg in just one move. And that's not all. If you join us today, we're going to put at your fingertips, for free, these money-making resources, the Trailing Edge 2016, two bold moves that could flip crisis into a fortune. Once you accept your invitation, we'll send you this urgent investment briefing immediately. Inside, you'll discover full details on the two best crisis moves to make today, which could help you flip the chaos of the trailing edge into a fortune. The Crisis Investor's Owner's Manual. This guide will help you hit the ground running, make certain you get the most out of your subscription, and also ensure that you're mentally ready to take advantage of crisis opportunities from the get-go, and 24-7 online access to our members-only website. Here you'll find every monthly briefing we send you. Remember, these are profit-packed, and they give you easy-to-follow instructions for capturing windfalls in a single move right from your home computer. Most importantly, you risk nothing. We're so confident that our crisis investing research service can teach you how to capture a series of windfalls while this historic financial hurricane's trailing edge unfolds. We're willing to guarantee it. Take the next 90 days. Go through the owner's manual, review Nick's urgent trailing edge briefing, and follow the simple instructions for profiting from your first crisis move right from home. If at any time in the next 90 days, you feel crisis investing is not right for you, simply contact our team here at Casey Research for a full 100% refund. You'll get every penny back. Remember, because we're making such a substantial financial commitment, this offer is available until Sunday, May 22nd at midnight. In fact, our marketing team has plans to shut it down in just a few days. So timing here is key. Just like seizing a crisis opportunity, you have a short window of opportunity to act before you miss your chance to join Nick and Doug. More importantly, you've seen the writing on the wall. You know the trailing edge of the financial hurricane will soon wreak havoc here in America. Question is, will you sit on your hands like an average investor and face a crisis potentially worse than 2008, unprepared? Or will you take action now to not only survive, but use the turmoil to make a fortune? See that button below? As soon as you click it, you'll be taken to a secure order form. This special page will let you accept your invitation to join this bold venture we're spearheading. The moment you join us, you'll receive Nick's urgent briefing detailing your first two opportunities to flip crisis into a windfall. Will they help you build an entire nest egg with a single decisive move? There's only one way to find out. Click the button below now. Follow in the footsteps of the greatest crisis investors in history as this severe financial hurricane's trailing edge unfolds in the months ahead.